Guys, as you know, I've ordered the Xpeng G6 electric car. It's actually going to be here in less than two weeks. And the first thing I'm going to do, the actual day it arrives, or or the following day, depends if I can get the boys and I packed in time, I'm going to um take it camping. I'm going to drive from here, from Newcastle, just, to, just north of Newcastle in Australia. I'm going to drive all the way to Melbourne. So that's, I don't know, 1,200 kilometers, something like that. And then we're going to drive into the Alps, so the Alps in Victoria, and go on a, a camping trip. My boys, my little one, Cal, he's really jealous. He's his bigger brother, Jack. He climbed Mount Bogong, which is the highest mountain in Victoria, a couple of years ago. If you guys want to see the video, I'll put a link in, in the description to my video I did with Jack and I climbing Mount Bogong. Anyhow, he's always wanted to do that, and I've put him off for a while. And I said, all right, buddy, we're going to go drive to Victoria. We're not going to climb Mount Bogan. We're going to climb a different mountain, some different mountains in the in the Alps, the Victorian Alps. And I'm going to take the Xpeng G6. We're going to drive around there. Now, I thought to myself, what about if, you know, you run out of battery charge, right? I mean, it's the same thing as running out of fuel. Generally, if you run out of fuel, right, you just have a small jerry can in your car. You might carry that with you sometimes. And you can put a little bit of extra fuel in your car until it gets you to the nearest fuel station. And I thought, that could be a good idea for an EV. So I contacted a company and they've sent me two big boxes. And I thought, this is my jerry can. This is this is kind of like my jerry can. Now, the, th the cool thing is you can, my vehicle, my, my G6 is going to be parked for probably four days. So I thought, well, I could use a solar panel and this battery if I wanted. In theory, it's like a backup, right? to be able to potentially charge your EV when you're off hiking. And it doesn't add a whole lot of power, but I mean, it's free. It's basically like free energy. So why not do it? The cool thing is you can get different size solar panels, different size batteries. A lot of people think if they run out of charge in their EV, they're totally screwed. But actually that's not the case because I've got a battery just below this box. They come in conjunction. Anyway, I contacted this company. I said, guys, this is my idea. This would be like me having um, backup essentially. And a lot of EV buyers, that's what they're doing now. They're buying a separate battery. They can just stick it in the boot of their car or in the wherever, some, in the frunk, potentially, if you've got a Tesla or a car with a frunk. They can put a battery in the car, and then if they ever need it, they know that they've got an extra, you know, it might give you an extra 20, 30 kilometers of range, even 50 kilometers of range, depending on the size of battery you get. It just gives you that peace of mind. And the other thing is, if you don't need it to charge your car, you pull it out when you're camping, charge your phones, charge your laptop, which I'm going to need to charge my phone for sure. And, you know, you charge all your devices. You can even have it running with your caravan, you, you know, your, you know, whatever, your tent. You can have it next to you near your tent if you're camping near the car. So I thought this is a really cool idea. I contacted the company and they've given me a massive, you know, actually I said, guys, I'm interested in buying one. Can you give me a discount? I'll review it. And they were like, yeah, of course. And they've actually sent it to me instead of me paying. They went, no, no, you can have it for free. I was like, wow, thank you so much. I'm pretty stoked. So I thought I'd fully disclose that with you. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And this right here is actually the EcoFlow Delta 2. Now, EcoFlow, they have different options on their website. And to tell you the truth, this is the only negative for me. The only negative with EcoFlow is there is so many products. And I was a, bit, a little bit confused. I'm like, what the hell? There's the Delta 2, right? With the Delta 2, you have this option of getting the Delta, Delta 2 solar generator. So you can get it with a, it comes as a package with a 160 watt solar panel. You can also get it with a 220 watt panel. Then you can obviously get more panels than that if you want. So if you really want to charge your EV properly, you can literally get, you know, you can connect a bunch, a whole bunch of different solar panels. Then they have the Delta 2 Plus Smart Extra Battery, so you can connect multiple batteries together, have your own like mini power station. Then you really could charge your EV. You know, I mean, you can really give it quite a lot of juice. But here, guys, I just have the Delta 2. Now, the Delta 2 retail, recommended retail price here in Australia, you can buy them outside of Australia as well. You can buy these, I believe, um, in Europe and the United States as well. But the retail price in Australia is 2,000 Australian dollars. So that's about 1,300 US dollars. The capacity, how big is it? 1,024 watts capacity. So it's about one kilowatt. Uh, that is 85 amp hours. Now, one other thing I was thinking, guys, if you wanted to, you could charge an electric bike as well. Plug in your battery, right? Th that's the other thing I can do. I can actually plug in my battery in. I can get electricity out of the grid. Oh, sorry, not out of the grid, out of my solar panels on my house. 
and then charge things with this battery. So I'm, I'm, to be honest, the electricity that I get, the money I get paid for sending my solar power, my excess solar power to the grid, it's not that valuable for me. It's, it's only a very small amount. So I thought this, this is another thing I can do. Fill this battery pack and then use this battery to charge my electric bike or to charge my electric skateboards, even to just use it to charge things so that I'm saving a bit of extra money on my power bills as well. There's lots of different things you can do with a big battery like this. And heaps of people now have carry these batteries around in their pickup trucks, their utes, their SUVs, their cars for camping, etc., etc. So what else does it do? Well, it has a pretty impressive AC output. It has seven times faster AC charging than some of the competitors. So that's a big plus. Charging is really fast. That means if you wanted to put some juice from this battery pack into your EV, if you did run out of power in your EV, then it would, well, it would do it quite fast. You wouldn't have to wait forever. Now, the cool thing is this thing actually has 13 power outlets on it. So I'll just unbox it now. And we have to see that box there, that was the solar panels. Now, this box here is the battery. It's actually not that heavy. I thought it would be heavier than what it is. Batteries used to be just using a kitchen knife here, guys. Okay. Get this thing out. Take off the plastic stuff. And here it is. Actually, it comes with three cables. So this enables you to plug it in. Cigarette lighter. Obviously, you can plug that. So you can plug that straight into your car's cigarette lighter to recharge the battery if you wanted to. Now you've also got this one. And this, now this enables you obviously to, what I can do is just connect this in my house and during the middle of the day when it's sunny, which to be honest here in Newcastle, it is all the time. And I'm, I'm always producing between the hours of nine and 4 p.m. I'm always producing too much power. So I just plug this into any power point at home and it's not gonna take power out of the grid. It's gonna actually take, use my solar power and I can recharge this. So, this is what it looks like. A bunch of charging ports here, as you can uh -huh. see. So quite a few ports there. Obviously, these are Australian ports. This is for an Australian, for Australia, but the it, the other versions of European and, and American, they have different charging ports for there. Here you can see all that's covered over. Okay, now we'll have a look at the side here. On the side, looks like now digital screen here on the front so I've just turned it on that's the on button right there and it tells me on the front of the LCD screen I have a 99 I think that's saying I have a 99% state of charge it's telling me the output watts so you've got quite a few different features on the front screen but you've got USB ports here obviously charge your phones USB a and USB fast charge so that's the faster charging port. Charge your iPhone probably, I'm saying about 20 minutes. And of course, USB-A plus a USB-C. It's actually a 100 watt USB-C port. That's quite a fast USB port. So you can actually connect three of these together. That would give you three kilowatt hours of total battery storage. So one kilowatt hour, what, how much range would that give you to your electric car? Well, let's say a Tesla Model Y, right? Most, a lot of people have a Tesla Model Y or a Tesla Model 3, the standard range model. That has approximately, well, the Tesla Model 3 standard range has a battery pack, I believe it's about a 61 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery. So that would be about nearly 2% the size of a Tesla Model 3 battery. Probably my estimate would be that it'd give you around about 20 kilometers of range. Not heaps, but generally there'll be somewhere you can charge within 20 kilometers of where you are, right? Generally when you, you your EV dies, you're not thinking about it, it dies, and then you if you, Say for instance, you plug that into your EV, you can get an extra 20 kilometers of range. And I think, you know, within 20 kilometers, you can find a charging point or a house, someone's house and just say, hey, can, I, can I plug into your house? There'd be a, a fair few different options, I think. Now, battery chemistry, it's a lithium ion phosphate. 
and the battery chemistry is meant to be significantly higher energy density than previous versions of you know energy storage batteries. So if you bought one of these type of batteries a few years ago, now the energy density would be quite a bit higher. I think the energy density now is about 160 watt hours per kilogram. They used to be at about, 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 at about 140, which means a significant improvement. You can recharge the battery, they say, using solar in 2.3 hours. So 2.3 hours, that's, that's pretty fast, I think. Weight, it weighs apparently uh, 12 kilograms. Now, I actually felt like it was lighter than that, but anyway, they say it weighs 12 kilograms. It has a five-year warranty, and there is an app. You can download an app to actually uh, connect that, decide what, how you use the, the battery pack, for example. You can actually get it to charge from your house or from the grid, depending on what you want. So there's quite a few different features. Now, there's one other choice. If you have a plug-in hybrid, guys, or, or an internal combustion car, you can actually buy an alternator charger. There's an 800 watt alternator charger. You can connect that to your car and then you can charge the battery in 1.3 hours just from driving. Um, and I think that's a, a big plus. It's apparently a three in one fast charger. So you're getting essentially free energy coming through your alternator, charging your battery. It won't actually cost you any more money. So if you're doing a longer drive, that is an option for a car. Even if you don't have an EV, if you've got a plug-in hybrid or or just a normal hybrid or an internal combustion engine car, you can plug this in and it will charge fully recharge the battery in 1.3 hours. But to do that, you do need the optional alternator charger. Now the Delta II, which is what I've got here, it's a one kilowatt hour battery. The Delta II extra battery um, extends it, means you've got two kilowatt hours. And if you buy an extra one, that you've then got a three kilowatt hour battery pack. So those three connect to each other. Now the AC output, AC output is 1800 watts. Actually not too bad. It's like 1.8 kilowatt. So yeah, I mean, it's not going to charge super, your EV super fast. I would estimate to discharge the power from this battery into your EV probably would take you at full speed, probably take you about 30 minutes, 45 minutes, depending, really depends on your, your EV, how well that's kind of able to um, except the flow of energy from the from this actual power pack, but it wouldn't take a huge amount of time just because it's not that big. Now, one of the reasons that I contacted these guys and I wanted this particular battery is because it charges actually really, really fast. And the technology means that the Delta II charges seven times faster than some of the competitors' batteries. That's what um, I've been able to discover. And that means you can charge this battery pack um, from zero to 80% in 50 minutes. So 50 minutes is actually really, really fast. You can go zero to 100% in 80 minutes with an AC input. Now, what about the solar panels? How are they gonna work for you? Well, apparently you can pair it with the solar panels, right? And you can charge the battery in the same 2.3 hours. Now, sorry, to explain guys properly, one, one, each of these panels is 400 watts, but in total, there is two times 220 watt portable solar panels. So you could charge the battery in around in around 2.3 hours just using solar at your campsite, which is it's pretty that's pretty incredible. Now, so it comes in as you can see this bag here, guys, and a bit of packaging. This is what it looks like. So this is how it rolls out. You could put it on, in theory, I mean, you could put it on top of your EV if you wanted to. So apparently these solar panels work really well and whatever reviews I give you, I don't know how valid they're gonna be because this actually won the underscored uh, CNN best medium capacity solar generator in 2022. So this is a, this actually won the, it's a global, a global award that won the record that won the award, I should say. And it's one of the eight best products at IFA 2022. Digital Trends did a review on this. They gave it five stars. The Delta II is a mainstream essential appliance for every family that offers as much versatility, if not more than its previous products. Um, yeah, there's actually lots of glowing reviews. And in fact, I found about 40 reviews of this product already. They all gave it five stars. They say the solar panels work really well. The battery works well. and. One of the cool things is also the extra features. Like I mentioned before, the EcoFlow 800 watt alternator charger, that's $799 to be able to charge the thing from your alternator in your car. Uh, the EcoFlow waterproof bag, you can get a waterproof bag for it. If you're gonna be out camping, that's $120. And if you wanna buy an extra battery, the second battery is a lot cheaper than the first one. 
could be a good option. The second battery is only $1,400. Now guys, EcoFlow do actually have batteries you can use essentially like a Tesla Powerwall. That's a different product, but that's something worth considering if you have solar, or if you don't have solar, you should get it and then get potentially get a backup battery. But EcoFlow have a, a range of different products that work really, really well in terms of the reviews that I've seen, the rewards they've gotten in the industry. And you can kind of see why so many, particularly so many people here in Australia are buying these uh, battery packs. I'll actually report back to you guys on my experience using this. I, I really need to go get out there and test it and get on this Camry trip, actually use it. But keep in mind, I'll be keeping this in the car even after the trip. I'll charge it, like if I need it for different various things, camping or potentially, like I said, getting using my extra solar to charge my appliances and those sorts of things. I'll use it, but I'll try to remember to put it back in my EV just to use, to make sure I've got a bit of power. I'm, I'm kind of thinking to myself, there has been a couple of situations. Well, there's one recently I saw a Tesla. They'd run out of power. They'd parked the car on the side of the road. And I stopped and said, oh, mate, what happened? He's like, oh, I wasn't thinking and I, I, I ran out of power. In that case, you know, you can potentially, I wasn't driving an EV at the time, unfortunately, but in that case, you, pretend, you could potentially help them if your vehicle has vehicle to load, sending power to another EV, or you could just give them the battery. You, well, not necessarily give it to them, but, you know, give them some power from your battery. So I'm a big fan of this product. I'm a big fan of this, kind of this idea of being able to use sun energy to, you know, power your devices, to be able to give you your car. Let's say my car is sitting there for, for those days to be able to add some extra electricity to my car to have that battery back up as well. So stay posted guys, and I'll post another review based on my actual experience using the EcoFlow Delta II portable power station. Thanks for watching.